The title is not clickbait. Sometimes I am just holding on and for this season, this time in my life, that is going to be more than okay. This video is going to be a catch up on me and what's going on in my life financially, how that translates into my finances because life and money are so closely intertwined and my goal is to be transparent in what's going on in both my life and my money because life and money are so closely intertwined. This is my journey to financial independence and financial freedom and my hope is to share my story with you that hopefully you will be inspired uh, by my journey. So if you're interested in watching more about that, then just keep watching. Hey there, and thanks for watching. So this, like I mentioned, is just going to be a catch up on what's going on in my life in my journey to financial independence. So this is one of those weeks where I'm just, I'm holding on. That is what I'm doing. I am not going forward very fast. My goal is not to go backward. My goal is simply not to go backward. And I consider every week, every day that I don't go backward to be a huge win. So there's a saying that you're either growing or you're dying. And I think just by waking up and doing what I do on a daily basis that I am treading water. And if I can get like not even 1% better, if I can get like 0.01% better every day. That is more than enough for me in this season. So just to kind of recap a little bit of my story and my overall journey to financial independence, I do not come from a financial family. I don't come from a financial background at all. I was a humanities major. I was an English major and I don't have natural financial savvy or smarts. I'm not good with numbers at all. And I thought because I wasn't good with numbers, I would never be good with money. That is false. And I just decided one day after finding myself $17,000 worth of uh, consumer loan debt that I was going to decide to be good with money over a 10 year process. Um, so I'm at the point right now where I'm out of consumer loan debt and I'm just working on the rest of my life. So where we are right now and what's going on today with my life is that I'm in a period of transition, the likes of which I have not known for say the past 10 years. So the only thing that I can compare this season to in my life is when I was looking to go teach abroad. I had just left a full-time stable, fantastic stable job for to go and do something else. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I just know I didn't want that, which was a very difficult position to be in because this job would have been amazing. Like people spent 30 years in this job and they still do. It's a great company to work for, but I knew that wasn't where I was. So I left, didn't have anything else to do. And I was kind of temping my way around, <laughs> decided to go teach overseas. And there was sort of this 10 month period in between I, when I decided to go teach overseas to the time that I actually left the States to teach overseas that I had no idea what was going on. And it was during that period of transition that I found myself in this credit card debt um, without a source of income. And that terrified me because I knew again that I was in this position of transition and I didn't know how to negotiate it because I just had no, um, I don't say template, but I didn't know how to face that without knowing what was coming next. So again, I kind of freaked out and went a little bit crazy and it wasn't anything dramatic. Like my credit card debt wasn't by any lavish spending, any excessive shopping. It was just the day-to-day -day expenses. And that's, that's what did it in. It was debt by a thousand cuts. It wasn't one big, you know, wound. So this period that I'm going through in my life right now is very, very similar to that period, which is why I aim to learn from the past lessons of my life and move them forward in this period, which every, again, every, every situation, every sort of phase in life is different, but I feel like I know myself a little bit better. So I aim to use what I've learned about myself to help me make a better road as I move forward. So that's going to be a little bit challenging because for me, it, it's always kind of difficult when you have what you would like to do versus what your budget allows. And here's where the difficulty, and, and there's like maybe say a $10,000 gap in there, 10 to $15,000 gap in there. And I'm like, ooh, <laughs> what? I, there are options that are not good that I don't like to consider, but it's like making that difference between where I'm going to spend money without sacrificing for future me. So that's something that I'm really aiming to stay focused on um, and thinking about that future me. So here's the other thing with 
that difference in between your budget and what you, you want. So sometimes, and this has happened very recently where I've been very conscious of the budget and I've gone for the lower priced option and the lower priced option is worse than no option. <laughs> So like I'd rather not have anything than have the lower price thing and it was not a positive situation that happened most recently in a gift that I was purchasing for a friend and I looked at my sort of accounts and was like I can't really afford to spend what I normally spend so again I went for a lower priced option and it was terrible. So that's something that I am bearing in mind. So again it's just it's just a negotiation and it's saying okay this is a choice I made and this is why I made that choice. And maybe it wasn't the best choice, but it's what I did. So again, it's just a continual um, reminder of where my priorities lie. So I'm going to also add in kind of a section on how I am getting that 0.01% better because I've heard that just improve 1% every day. And if you do that, then it'll dramatically change the trajectory of your life. So I did a live stream earlier this month on bite-sized actions I'm taking to <laughs> move me closer toward financial independence. And so that was on a Monday and this is um, now the end of the week. And I've tried some of those options and mixed results. Uh, not all of them had the effect that I was hoping for. So for example, one of my actions was to just get up earlier with the intention to do more work specifically in regard to increasing my income. That is not so much working out the way I had hoped because even though this whole week I had been up earlier, I had some doctor's appointments that I thought that I'd scheduled before work and I thought that it would be a great opportunity to be up and at it earlier. It's, I know it's going to take some adjustment to get back into that groove of waking up early because I've done it before and I know it takes adjustment, but I am not able to function at this point. I know that, again, given, given another week or so, I will probably adjust to that. But at, at this point, it was just not. I, I was like barely able to keep my eyes open, let alone like string together coherent sentences. I know that, again, as I get more used to being awake at that time, my body will adjust and I know that my mind will come with it. Because once more, I'm just, I'm better able to do better work in the morning because I feel fresher and more able to work. It will take some adjustments. So I did wake up, did not get as much, I didn't, did not get almost any work done in creating content or any of the things I wanted to do. So that was a challenge. Um, but it's just sort of a continual, continual working. So the other thing I did was I started using my TD Ameritrade brokerage account, which is exciting because... Again, I'm just aiming to do, just put away a tiny, tiny amount, um, just get a little bit better. And sort of the process of buying stocks, buying and selling stocks and reading charts has been really exciting for me. Um, and I'm learning more about that. But for me, the big action was just investing the money that I had put into the account. So again, that's, that's exciting. I'm seeing like I, I made 52 cents so far, which is exciting. So I'll take that. I'm 52 cents better this week than I was last week. So it's a process. Um, as far as those bite-sized chunks toward financial independence, I'm just aiming not to go further into debt. That's my, my biggest goal for this season. So, so that's what I have for you this week. This is just what's going on. I'm I'm hanging on. I'm hanging in there. And that's going to pretty much be the theme for the next few months, to be honest. You can watch this space. This will just be me sort of walking through it. So thank you for watching. As always, I really appreciate you so much. If you can, before you go, give this video a like. It means a ton and it helps me and my channel so much. So as always, I thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll keep watching. Bye.